one thing that the student would never fall in love with math if they simply memorize it. So you, you would help them to discover it. This is what I do here at Bali Science Lab. Today my student will discover the mathematics and that is multiplication is repeated addition. Let's take a look. What is your name? Uh, Ayesh will teach us some multi-digit multiplication. So can I give you two quantity? One thirty seven thirty seven times five. And I put them aligned. I put them aligned is because this is one place. So seventh is one place. What about this one? This is ten place. And this one? Hundred place. What about this five? It's only in one place. One place. So can you multiply this two quantity? So I am gonna multiply this two quantity. Let's see. So then thirty five. Okay, so we're not gonna block it, okay? What is that three? Is that carry three? three. Carry three, okay. And then carry three, okay. And then three times five is then fifteen. Uh huh. So five here. No. Fifteen plus eighteen. Yes. What about how much is carrying? I'm one. Okay, put one. All right, so now you're carrying one. Okay, good. So then one times five is f five. Uh huh. And then five plus one is six. Okay, good. Now this is the multi digit multiplication in a traditional way. Now we're going to. Uh, I actually going to show us a new way, and that is 137 can be written as 100. And then 30, and then 5, and then 2. So let's multiply this one by 5, this one by 5, this one by 5, and this one by 5. Go ahead. And then we're going to add them up, of course. And we're going to check whether he gets 685. So go ahead, do it. So 2 plus 5? No, not 2 plus 5. Two, two times. No. Yeah, two times five. Two times five is ten. Good. So I will go right. All right. So now let's do this one. Five times five is twenty-five. Good. Now let's do this one. Zero times five is zero. Uh huh. And then three times five is fifteen. Okay. Good. What about this one? So zero, zero, and then one times five is five. Good. Now you're gonna add them. So let's add them. So write five hundred. Five hundred. Then write one fifty. Make sure they are line. Ten ten. All right, so add them up. Let's see what you get. So, zero. So there's only five in here. Good. So there. So, so I have to put five here. What about this? The uh, zero, then five, plus two, seven, plus one, eight. Okay. And then five plus one is six. Okay, so what is this? 685, and then 685. Very good. So, yeah, did you, what did you learn? That, that, that you could use two ways to solve a math problem. So multiplication is? Is? Uh, similar to? Similar to? Addition. Addition. Right? Okay. So multiplication is a repeated addition. Multiplication is a? Repeated addition. Okay, can I give you one more problem? Yes. I have how many digits here? Four. Uh, and I have how many digits here? One. So uh, can you multiply uh, these two quantity? Yeah. So seven times four is 28. And then we add two. 
Okay. Two, two. Yeah. two, and then two times four. No, not two times four. Four times one. Four times one is four. Plus two. Is six. Okay. And then, and then. Carry zero, right? Carry zero. Okay. And then, z four. Four times six. Is then tw twenty-four. Okay. So then, uh, right for here. Mm -hmm. Carry two. Carry two. Okay. And then, okay, and then. Four times two. Four times two is eight. Eight plus two. Ten. Okay, good. All right. So ten thousand four hundred sixty-eight, right? Mm -hmm. So let's break it down. So can we write two thousand? Uh huh. And then plus. Six hundred. Sure. Plus. Ten. Sure. Plus. Seven. Oh really? Multiply this one by four. Four. Four and four. Good luck. So seven times four is twenty-eight. So Good. What about this? So then zero. And then four. Okay, good. And then six hundred. So zero. Zero. Six times four is two. And two. And two. And then two. So then it's two times four is eight. Okay, now we're gonna add them up. Let's see. So write eight thousand. Eight thousand. Twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. Forty. Forty. And twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Alright, let's add them up. So then, all of these, and then it's eight. Mm -hmm. And then the four and plus two is six. Mm -hmm. What about here? And then here. Here there. So z z zero. Zero, so zero and four, so four. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then eight plus two is ten. Okay, so this one and this one are the same? Yes. So what did you learn today? Look at the camera and tell us. You discovered, what did you discover? That, that addition no. is, that multiplication, multiplication is, is a degree. Is it repeated? We do, do repeated addition. Addition. So multiplication is a repeated addition, right? Uh huh. Right. Can you show that multiplication is a repeated addition by multiplying uh, twelve times two? Go ahead. Twelve times. Two. Twelve times two is how much? You tell me. Twelve times two is then. Tell me. Twenty-four. Good. Now. We are saying this is repeated addition, right? Uh huh. So in the twelve, what do you have? Ten. Uh, no, in the twelve we have one, right? Uh huh. One. One times two. Uh huh. One times two. 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 How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Oh, can you count them? One. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 times 2 is? 2. 1 times 2 is? 2. 2 plus 2 is? 4. 4 plus 2 is? 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 18, 16, 18. 20, 22, 24. So the multiplication, multiplication is a repeated addition by different way. Yeah, you could just 
So 24. Okay. Use different color. You can just add like two, 12 plus 12 equals 24. See, when you break down uh -huh. the math problem to a student, uh -huh. a student will be allowed to discover. I broke it down so he was able to discover that multiplication is a repeated addition.